Storing information in different ways on different platforms offers a number of benefits, including protecting you from losing files due to technical malfunctions. Eric is studying social science. For some time now, he has been accumulating a lot of digital documents, as well as paper documents that he digitizes, saves, and files on his computer. Since he may use these documents throughout his studies, he needs to decide where, how, and how long to keep his digital files. Eric has saved all his documents on his computer hard drive. Is this the best platform for keeping all his important data? In this video, we will review a few tips on reducing the risk of losing data by exploring different file storage options. Like many of his friends, Eric carts his laptop around with him everywhere. He has never really taken the time to back up his documents anywhere else. And yet, he is well aware that he is susceptible to a critical crash or a theft which would mean he loses everything. Just imagine. Technology is not infallible and he has already seen some hints that his hard drive is showing signs of premature wear. He absolutely needs to take the time to back up his files on an external storage medium, but which kind? Over the last few years, he has produced and amassed an impressive quantity of digital files in all different formats. Luckily, his backup and archiving task will be easy because he has always managed his files meticulously. Let's review a few of the good file management practices that Eric has adopted. He names his files as soon as he creates them, and he immediately saves them to the right location on his hard drive. To manage them more effectively, he adds metadata to the files. Another video covers how to use metadata, and we encourage you to watch it. When Eric is working with a new document or after a long editing session, he uses the software options to ensure the latest version is systematically saved to the right place. When he is working on a computer that is not his, he emails the last version of his document to himself and then saves it on his own computer. This is a quick, simple trick to make sure that he has a copy of his document. Since his files are well classified, it will be easier for him to sort and save his videos, photos, and official documents on the appropriate platforms based on how long he wants to keep them. Some documents of sentimental or legal value should be archived in a format and on a platform that guarantee they will survive. Let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the platforms to consider for effective file storage. First of all, USB keys and SD cards are compact, portable, and affordable. This type of platform is basically a miniature flash memory drive that offers the great advantage of making it easy to quickly transfer data from one computer to another using the appropriate ports. This is not a file storage solution to consider for long-term archiving because the standards and formats for these platforms are changing rapidly. It is easy to lose a USB key. And besides, you have to be careful about spreading a virus from one computer to another if the antivirus program is not up to date. Since he does not have much free time, Eric is thinking instead that he might choose a storage solution in the cloud, using one of the free or paid data storage services offered online by independent companies and social networks. In the short term, this is a quick and easy solution if he has good internet access. Storing work documents in the cloud allows Eric to avoid having multiple copies because he will always have access to the latest version. Some of these services even offer automatic data synchronization between the computer and the files stored in the cloud. Better yet, the data are then accessible from any device. On the downside, this is not a solution for sensitive files that demand confidentiality. Some of the conditions that Eric has to accept when he opens an account in this kind of service inform him that he may even lose the intellectual property of his own stored files. What will happen to Eric's data if the service closes or is bought by a competitor? This is not a solution for long-term archiving and the storage capacity offered for free may be filled up quickly. Then hosting fees can be charged to him to access more storage space. Eric found out he had access to a network storage space offered for free by his college to store a portfolio. This gives him access to a secure data storage environment with enough storage capacity to last for the entire duration of his course or his studies. 
In terms of disadvantages, it can sometimes be slow to save a document to the network and additional storage space may be limited by the academic institution. At the end of his studies, Eric will have to transfer his data to another platform. The content he has accumulated in his portfolio can only be easily transferred to another portfolio platform if the two are compatible. A friend of Eric's advised him to save his files on rewritable disks. Rewritable CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs are widely available and very affordable. They are light and easy to carry. You can also make several copies to distribute copies of photos, for example. But Eric's computer does not have a CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive. He has noticed that fewer and fewer of the new computers have them, requiring people to purchase an external peripheral. Even though Eric could get enough disks to save all his files for a modest price, he knows it will be a long and tedious task. This is not a solution to consider for long-term archiving, though. He knows that the files may become unreadable after three years or if the surface of the disk is damaged by scratches or heat. Finally, Eric is thinking of buying an external hard drive that can be connected in several ways to a computer to save large file sets. External hard drives have great storage capacity for the price. Many offer storage capacity of over a terabyte or 1,000 gigabytes. These are independent peripherals that are not vulnerable to the internal problems of a computer and are excellent for automated mass backup of your computer files. Some external hard drives are small enough that they can be transported easily. If you carry yours around with you, be careful of bumps and bangs or you may lose access to your data. If there is one action Eric is adding to his best practices these days, it is using a variety of data storage platforms. He knows he needs to think about the appropriate solutions based on the nature of the files, the length of time he needs to save them, and whether or not they are final version.